Test 21 Question 1. This sign means A. Stop sign ahead B. Side road C. Railroad warning The correct answer A. Stop sign ahead The stop sign ahead sign serves as a warning to drivers that a stop sign is approaching. It alerts them to be prepared to come to a complete stop at the upcoming intersection or junction. Question 2. In which of the following scenarios should your wheels not be pointed straight ahead? A. When waiting to make a left turn at a traffic light. B. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. C. When parked on the side of a level roadway where there is no curb. The correct answer. B. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. When waiting to turn left, keep your wheels straight to avoid veering into oncoming traffic if you're rear-ended. When parked on a slope, turn the wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling into traffic in case the brakes fail. These practices enhance safety in these situations. Question 3. Construction zone signs are generally A. Square or rectangular with white and red coloring B. Round or octagonal with black and yellow coloring C. Diamond shaped or rectangular with orange and black coloring. The correct answer C. Diamond shaped or rectangular with orange and black coloring. In work zones, all temporary signs have an orange background with black letters or symbols. You'll typically see these signs on the right side of the road, and on both the left and right sides if the road is divided. These signs are specifically designed to provide information and warnings related to construction or road work activities, helping drivers navigate safely through the work zone. Question 4. If it is necessary to make an emergency stop while driving on an interstate, you should A. Sound your horn at passing cars to get their attention. B. Get out of your vehicle and flag down the first vehicle that passes. C. Pull off the road, turn on your emergency flashers and stay in your vehicle, if you can. The correct answer. C. Pull off the road, turn on your emergency flashers, and stay in your vehicle, if you can. If you need to stop on the shoulder of an interstate or highway, it's essential to turn on your emergency flashers to alert other drivers to your presence. Whenever possible, stay inside your vehicle. The high-speed traffic on these roads makes standing or walking along the highway exceptionally dangerous, and staying inside your vehicle provides an added layer of protection. Question 5. Large trucks turning onto a street with two lanes in each direction. A. May complete the turn in either of the two lanes. B. Often have to use the left lane to complete the turn. C. Must stay in the right lane at all times while turning. The correct answer. B. Often have to use the left lane to complete the turn. Large trucks sometimes need extra space and must swing wide to complete a right turn. This can make it seem like they are turning left initially. When driving behind a turning truck, watch their turn signal to understand their actual intended direction of the turn for safer driving. Question 6. Driving more slowly than surrounding traffic is A. A good idea if the weather is bad. B. Appropriate if you don't know the speed limit. C. Often a hazard because other drivers may become frustrated and try to pass you. The correct answer. C. Often a hazard because other drivers may become frustrated and try to pass you. Driving significantly slower than the flow of traffic can be dangerous because it can lead to impatience among drivers behind you. When drivers become impatient, they might attempt risky maneuvers to pass you, increasing the likelihood of accidents. It's important to maintain a speed that is consistent with the surrounding traffic to promote safer and smoother driving conditions for everyone on the road. Question 7. An orange colored sign like this means A. There is road work ahead. B. You must change lanes ahead. C. There is a detour ahead. The correct answer. A. There is road work ahead. Orange colored signs are used to indicate construction areas on the road. When you see these signs, it's important to proceed with caution. Construction zones often have changed road conditions, reduced speed limits, and potential hazards, so drivers need to be alert, follow posted speed limits, and be prepared to adapt to the changing environment to ensure safety for themselves and construction workers. Question 8. You reach an intersection with stop signs on all four corners at the same time as the driver on your left. Who has the right of way? A. 
The driver on your left has the right of way. B. You have the right of way. C. Whoever is signaling to make a turn has the right of way. The correct answer. B. You have the right of way. In a situation where two vehicles arrive at the same time to an intersection where all corners have stop signs, the general rule is that the vehicle to the right has the right of way. This means that the driver of the vehicle on the right can proceed through the intersection before the driver on the left. It helps in determining who goes first and ensures a smoother flow of traffic at the intersection, reducing the chances of collisions. Question 9. When approaching a person who is crossing the street while using a white cane or guide dog, you should a. Stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. b. Honk your horn as you proceed past them. c. Carefully drive around them. The correct answer. a. Stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. When you approach a pedestrian who is using a white cane or guide dog to cross the street, it is crucial to stop and wait until the person has safely moved away from your path of travel. By stopping and allowing them to cross without interruption, you are demonstrating respect for their right of way and ensuring their safety. Question 10. No zones are areas around trucks where cars a. disappear into blind spots or are so close that they restrict the truck driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. b. have sufficient space to travel behind the truck. c. have several car lengths between their vehicle and the truck. The correct answer. a. Disappear into blind spots or are so close that they restrict the truck driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. No zones refer to specific areas around trucks or buses where smaller vehicles, like cars, can either disappear from the larger vehicle's view or get dangerously close, impeding the truck or bus driver's ability to see and react effectively. These blind spots or no zones create situations where the larger vehicle's driver may not be aware of the presence or movements of nearby cars. Being in a no zone significantly elevates the risk of accidents because the truck or bus driver might not see the car, making it harder to avoid collisions, especially during lane changes, turns, or sudden stops. Question 11. You must show proof of insurance to law enforcement. A. Only if you are involved in a collision. B. If you are involved in a collision or stopped for a citation. C. Only if you are stopped and cited. The correct answer. B. If you are involved in a collision or stopped for a citation. When driving, you are required to carry evidence of financial responsibility, like proof of insurance, at all times. If stopped by a police officer or involved in a collision, you must be prepared to show both your driver's license and proof of insurance when requested. This demonstrates that you can cover potential costs resulting from an accident and helps ensure compliance with legal requirements. Question 12. When a car with bright headlights drives toward you at night, you should A. Stop until the other driver passes. B. Look below their headlights. C. Glance toward the right edge of your lane. The correct answer. C. Glance toward the right edge of your lane. To prevent being temporarily blinded by the headlights of oncoming cars when driving at night, it's important not to look directly at those headlights. Instead, you should focus your gaze toward the right edge of the road near the white line or the road's shoulder, until the oncoming vehicle has passed. This helps reduce the intense glare from the headlights, allowing your eyes to adapt to the darkness more quickly. Question 13. You are approaching a railroad crossing with no warning devices and are unable to see 400 feet down the tracks in one direction. The speed limit is A. 15 miles per hour B. 20 miles per hour C. 25 miles per hour the correct answer. A. 15 miles per hour. When you're approaching a railroad crossing, and you can't see 400 feet down the tracks in both directions within 100 feet of the crossing, the speed limit drops to 15 miles per hour. This reduced speed is crucial for safety because it allows you enough time to stop if a train is coming. However, there's an exception. If the crossing has gates, a warning signal, or a flagger controlling traffic, you can drive at a faster speed. Question 14. This sign means A. Four-lane traffic ahead B. Divided highway ahead C. Two-way traffic ahead The correct answer. C. Two-way traffic ahead Warning signs are typically yellow with black markings and are used to alert drivers to conditions that are ahead of them. 
In this specific sign, it indicates that you are approaching a point where a separated one-way highway ends, and you will soon transition to a two-way highway where traffic will be coming from both directions. This sign serves as a cautionary message to prepare drivers for this change in road configuration and to adjust their driving accordingly. Question 15. What does a traffic signal with a yellow left arrow indicate? A. Drivers should prepare to yield to oncoming traffic. B. The protected left turn is about to end. C. Both of the above. The correct answer. C. Both of the above. When a protected turn error changes from green to yellow, it signals to drivers that they should prepare to yield to oncoming traffic. A yellow arrow indicates that the protected left turn is about to end, and drivers should not enter the intersection unless it is safe to complete the turn without interfering with oncoming traffic. Question 16. Excessive speed. A. Saves time so you can get to your destination more quickly. B. Helps you maneuver around obstacles. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. The correct answer. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. Driving at excessive speeds is a significant factor in many vehicle crashes. Contrary to the belief that it saves time, it usually leads to risky decision making and is a leading cause of accidents on the road. Question 17. Motorcycles, scooters, and mopeds are not easy to see, therefore, you should A. Slow down when driving. B. Make constant visual checks. C. Share a lane with a motorcycle. The correct answer. B. Make constant visual checks. Motorcycles, mopeds, and scooters are smaller and can easily hide in a vehicle's blind spot or be overlooked with a quick glance. Therefore, car drivers must remain vigilant and actively watch for these smaller vehicles to ensure their safety on the road. Question 18. When driving in a construction zone. A. Slightly increase your speed. B. Expect the unexpected. C. Expect construction workers to yield to motorists. The correct answer. B. Expect the unexpected. In construction zones, unexpected conditions can arise. To ensure the safety of yourself, other drivers, and construction workers, it's essential to drive with exceptional caution. This means being particularly attentive, adhering to reduced speed limits, and following all posted signs and instructions in the construction area to avoid accidents and potential hazards. Question 19. You are driving in the far right lane of a four-lane freeway and notice thick broken white lines on the left side of your lane. You are driving in A. The carpool lane and must merge into the next lane. B. A special lane for slow-moving vehicles. C. An exit lane. The correct answer. C. An exit lane. Freeway lanes that are about to end are typically marked by large broken lines painted on the pavement. If you are driving in a lane with these broken lines, it's a signal that you should be prepared for that lane to either exit the freeway or come to an end soon. This marking helps drivers anticipate and safely navigate lane changes or exits on the freeway. Question 20. This sign means A. Slow down, curving road ahead. B. Slow down and do not use your brakes. C. Slow down, slippery when wet. The correct answer. C. Slow down, slippery when wet. This sign serves as a warning that the road ahead can become slippery when it's wet. It's an advisory sign intended to alert drivers to exercise caution, especially during or after rain when the road surface may be slick, reducing traction and increasing the risk of skidding or accidents. Question 21. When driving on a slippery surface, such as snow or ice. A. Shift to a low gear before going down steep hills. B. Maintain traction by following other vehicles closely. C. Pump your brakes to keep them from freezing. The correct answer. A. Shift to a low gear before going down steep hills. To prevent skidding on slippery roads. 1. Shift to a low gear on steep hills. 2. Increase following distance. 3. Avoid sudden stops. 4. If you lack any lock brakes, use a pumping motion when braking. Question 22. Any amount of alcohol in the blood may affect a driver's A. Right-of-way privileges B. Judgment and physical coordination C. Knowledge 
The correct answer. B. Judgment and physical coordination. A driver's ability to operate a vehicle safely can be impaired at any blood alcohol concentration, BAC, level, including levels below the legal limit. Even a small amount of alcohol can impact judgment and physical coordination. Driving under the influence of any amount of alcohol, even if it's below the legal limit, can result in criminal charges due to the potential impairment it causes and the associated dangers on the road. Question 23. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit at a residential area is a. 20 miles per hour b. 25 miles per hour c. 30 miles per hour The correct answer. b. 25 miles per hour In business and residential districts, unless there are posted signs indicating a different speed limit, the default speed limit is typically 25 miles per hour. This is the standard speed limit for these areas, and drivers should adhere to it for safety and to comply with traffic laws. Question 24. This sign indicates a. The distance from road surface to a bridge or overpass b. The maximum legal height of a vehicle allowed in this state c. The maximum width of a vehicle allowed on the highway The correct answer a. The distance from road surface to a bridge or overpass the low clearance warning sign signifies the vertical distance from the road surface to the bottom of a bridge or overpass, in this instance measuring 12 feet, 6 inches. It serves as an alert to drivers, ensuring they are aware of the height restriction and can avoid collisions with the structure if their vehicle is too tall to pass safely underneath. Question 25. You are driving on a freeway with a posted speed limit of 65 miles per hour. Traffic is heavy and moving at 35 miles per hour. The best speed for your vehicle is most likely a 25 miles per hour b 35 miles per hour c 30 miles per hour the correct answer b 35 miles per hour collisions are more likely to occur when one driver is traveling significantly faster or slower than the surrounding vehicles on the road to enhance safety when entering a freeway it's advisable to match your speed with the flow of traffic or enter at a speed close to it unless the speed of traffic is exceeding the posted legal speed limit. Question 26. When a school bus is picking up or dropping off children, you must a. Stop, regardless of your direction of travel. b. Stop if you are driving in the same direction. c. Slow down and be prepared to stop. The correct answer. a. Stop, regardless of your direction of travel. When you approach a school bus that is picking up or dropping off passengers, it's crucial to come to a complete stop before reaching the bus, regardless of your direction of travel. This safety rule ensures the protection of students entering or exiting the bus and helps prevent accidents. Question 27. This sign means A. One-way traffic B. Intersection ahead C. Merging traffic from the right The correct answer C. Merging traffic from the right. Warning signs are typically yellow with black markings and are used to caution drivers about upcoming conditions. This specific sign, which features a black arrow pointing to the left on a yellow background, instructs drivers to prepare for the need to yield or allow traffic from the right to merge safely into their lane or the road. It serves as an advance notice to promote safe and smooth traffic flow at merging points. Question 28. Regulatory signs are A green b yellow c wide the correct answer c wide regulatory signs are crucial for informing drivers about specific traffic laws that must be followed these signs cover a wide range of topics including rules regarding traffic direction lane usage turning speed limits parking and special circumstances they are typically displayed on white square or rectangular backgrounds with black red or green letters or symbols. Adhering to these signs is essential for maintaining safe and orderly traffic flow on the road. Question 29. You should signal at least how many feet before you turn? A. 50. B. 75. C. 100. The correct answer. C. 100. Use signals to indicate your intentions. 1. 100 feet before turning. 2. Before changing lanes. 3. 5 seconds before freeway lane changes. 4. When pulling to or away from the curb. 5. 
even when no other vehicles are visible. 6. Near the intersection if you plan to turn after crossing. Turn off signals when done. Question 30. You must file a report of a traffic accident occurring in California when A. Your vehicle fails a smog test. B. You are involved in a collision and there is an injury. C. You change your insurance company. The correct answer. B. You are involved in a collision and there is an injury. After a collision, if there were any injuries, no matter how minor, or fatalities involved, you must report the incident to the Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV, within 10 days. This reporting requirement applies regardless of whether you were at fault or the collision took place on private property. You or your representative should make this report to ensure that proper documentation and investigation can take place, and any necessary actions are carried out for the safety of all parties involved. Question 31. This sign means A. You can travel in either direction in this lane. B. There is two-way traffic. C. You are approaching a divided highway. The correct answer. B. There is two-way traffic. The sign that warns of two-way traffic typically consists of a yellow diamond-shaped sign with a black arrow pointing upward and another black arrow pointing downward. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are entering an area where traffic flows in both directions on the same road or street. It's a cautionary sign to prepare drivers for potential oncoming traffic and the need to share the road with vehicles traveling in the opposite direction. Question 32. If you hit an animal with your vehicle while driving on a California highway, you should A. Move the injured animal off the road. B. Call the Humane Society. C. Continue driving. The correct answer. B. Call the Humane Society. If you injure or kill an animal on the roadway, it's recommended to take responsible and compassionate action. You should call the California Highway Patrol, CHP, the nearest humane society, or the police to report the incident. It's important not to leave the injured animal to suffer or attempt to move it yourself, as this could potentially cause further harm to you or the animal. Instead, contact the appropriate authorities to handle the situation and provide necessary assistance or care for the animal if possible. Question 33. When is it legal for minors to use a cell phone without a hands-free device while driving? A. When making a call while stopped at the red light. B. When making a call for emergency assistance. C. Never. The correct answer. B. When making a call for emergency assistance. For minors, using a cell phone while driving is typically illegal, except in emergency situations where they need to contact an emergency entity. Adult drivers are generally allowed to use hands-free devices, but it is advisable to limit phone use to essential, emergency calls to avoid distractions and ensure safe driving. Prioritizing safety and minimizing distractions while operating a vehicle is essential for all drivers. Question 34. This sign means A. No right turn. B. Stop sign ahead. C. Divided highway. The correct answer. A. No right turn. This sign means that you are not allowed to make turns in the direction of the arrow, which is to the right in this case. It signifies a legal restriction on right turns at the location where the sign is posted. Question 35. The maximum posted speed limit should be driven only. A. During the night. B. During the day. C. Under ideal conditions. The correct answer. C. Under ideal conditions. The posted maximum speed limit is the legal top speed allowed under ideal conditions. Driving at the same speed as surrounding traffic, up to this limit, is the safest practice. All motorists share the responsibility of maintaining a safe speed for the benefit of road safety. Question 36. This red and white sign means you should A. Stop and check for traffic coming from both directions before proceeding. B. Give the right of way to traffic on the road you wish to enter or cross. C. Maintain a steady speed and check for traffic coming from all directions. The correct answer. B. Give the right of way to traffic on the road you wish to enter or cross. A three-sided yield sign, typically in the shape of a triangle, serves as a warning to drivers that they must slow down and be prepared to come to a complete stop, if required, to allow any vehicles, bicyclists, or pedestrians to pass before proceeding. In this scenario, 
drivers do not have the right of way and must yield it to others who are already on or approaching the road they want to enter or cross.